You can discover what it tastes for yourself. Mm. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Hello everyone! Welcome back to On The World Stage. If you're new here, my name is Marielle and I live in Japan. I thought there was a person, it's a leaf. Today, I'm very excited. I'm joined by my friend Pierre from France. Hi, nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to discover this country. I thought it was really wonderful to meet someone who's so new to Japan. It hasn't happened in a while. When he arrived, I asked if there are some Japanese foods he's never tried. And one is mochi. What is your image of mochi? Um, well, as you say, I just arrived, so there are many things I don't know. The name mochi sounds very like smooshy. I have chosen what I think is a very good assortment of different types of mochi. So let's get started. Yeah, I'm very excited. Mochi number one. It looks like lychee. You know the difference? Oh yeah, like a lychee. Yeah. yeah. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Mm. <laughs> this is so squishy. Yeah. You will need to explain me. <laughs> and the mochi in my mouth. This is a very popular mochi. You may have seen it as an emoji. Um, emoji, emoji, mochi. Uh, emoji. Mochi, em emoji, emoji. Mochi, emoji. Mochi, Pretty. emoji. San shoku dango. Oishi des. Mm. Oishi des. Thank you First of all, I, I like, I think, the the color. What it looks like. I mean, uh, I really like painting, and this this is kind of things that could be fun to to paint as as well. Then I like the, the texture. I really didn't expect it to be like that. How would you rate? Mm, I really like to try the others also, uh, but even without knowing the other, I would say um, maybe ni 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Nine okay, out of 10. great, yeah, that's yeah. a great start. 9 out of 10 points. Excellent. Okay, so the next mochi I'd like you to try are these. Uh, you have to <laughs> eat this in a, in a one time? Right? No, no, you can just <laughs> take a bite of it. And honestly, I would like you to take a bite of each one. Oh, they are different. And tell me what the difference is. I love these ones. It's so funny, it's like this kind of snow. Whoa. What do you think uh, the difference is going to be? Yeah, there's a treasure inside. Mm, yes. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. <laughs> I think I know. Mm. Is it red beans? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There are a lot of uh, red beans in Japanese dishes, which is very unusual in France. Like in general, we have uh, chocolate, but I actually it is delicious. I need to bring it home. Mm. Do you want to try the other one? Yeah, sure. There's a there's a difference between these. Mm. Oh, I know. Is it a uh, sweet potato? No, <laughs> not at all. This one is kind 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 of purple. Oh, there, there's a rice in this in this one. Look very closely at both of the inside. This dessert is called daifuku. So a daifuku is a mochi exterior with usually sweet red bean filling. And sometimes there are different variations, different flavors, but this daifuku. The biggest difference between them is this is called koshi-an. This is tsubu-an. So koshi-an is the smooth mm. red bean paste. Tsubu -an is the more rough, coarse one. You can see the beans in this one still, and you can't see it in that one. I personally prefer tsubuan, so which one do you like? I think I prefer tsubuan. Oh, okay, me yeah. too. It's yeah. more, it has more, more taste. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. That's great. Thanks. In the comments, let us know which one you prefer for the daifuku tsubuan koshian. What would you rate them? You can rate them together, you can rate them separate, it's up to you. Mm. Tsubuhon would be probably 8 and uh, Koshihon would be maybe 7. Yeah. Okay, so 7 and 8. Okay, so next one we will try is... Oh, this one's very fun. This one! Oh. <laughs> what do you think? It looks a bit like uh, lukum, the Turkish uh, dish. Oh, um, Turkish delight, we call it in English. This one is shining. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful colors are as well. Something like a strawberry? Uh... Okay. Itadakimasu. 
I'm always surprised by the texture this time. <laughs> right, it's so, it's so, this is why I love mochi. Mochi enthusiast. Hmm. Give me one more home bite. Gathering is hot. It's super hot. I'm really not used to this taste. Is it a flower? Mm. This is called suama mochi. Suama, suama mochi. Su suama mochi. It's honestly just a simple mochi, sweet mochi, and it is not uh, flavored. Mm. So it's not the flavor you're tasting is probably just like uh, sugar and sugar. And, uh, and rice. Yeah, mochi's made of rice, so it's uh, just some mochi, simple mochi. And the color is just, uh, I think it's just colored pink. There's another one that's white, so it's just for the appearance. I recommend this one for anyone who just wants to eat the very squishy mochi. It yeah. almost feels like a marshmallow. So. Yeah. I think I prefer the previous, the previous one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one would be mm, six on six? ten. Like, I don't, I don't feel that much of taste in this one. I hope for a rose or strawberry taste. That would be so good if they combine the Western influence and Japanese and made like a rose flavored mochi. That would be so yeah. delicious. Let me know if that exists and where we can get it because I want to try it. The next one. So in order to properly enjoy this one, I brought a sauce, kuromitsu. So this is like a kind of a black sugar syrup. Does it taste like Coffee or chocolate? You can discover what it tastes for yourself. Mm. Okay, <laughs> let's go. I want this one watch. too. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. It's super hard. It reminds me of something, but uh, I'm not using too used to it. He's not even using his first language right now. He's using English and he's doing great. So. I beg your pardon. He's French. He's French. This one is very weird. Most foreigners say this when they try it. So what I just served you was called warabi mochi. Wa warabi. Ra -bi. Warabi. Warabi mochi. Mm. This is usually the most shocking type for foreigners. So the first time I had this, some Japanese friends wanted me to try this. I was like, how do I eat this? What is this? It's not the typical like rice um, mochi that we were eating before. So kuzu mochi. Kuzu mochi is a much lighter, more watery type of mochi. And it's covered in uh, kinako powder, which is a soybean powder. On top, we put kuro mitsu. This is a popular Japanese syrup. Um, it's also popular to put on ice cream too. And uh, it's similar, I don't know in French, but like in English, molasses. I'm kind of scared to ask, what is your rating of Marabi Mochi? I don't think that I would eat it if I was alone. <laughs> three. Three out of ten yeah, for three Marabi out of ten. Mochi. Sorry. Yeah, sorry Marabi Mochi. But it's okay. We like to see the honest opinion. <laughs> okay, so uh, please show everyone what you have. Ta da! Mm. Classic. Beautiful orange color. Wow, looks like uh, also uh, sugar syrup on it. Does it look like something you ate before? Oh, uh, is it uh, honey? I'm not telling you. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> it looks like honey. Yeah, I'm trying. Okay, try. Itadakimasu! Is honey. You think it's honey? <laughs> really? But it's too hard. <laughs> this, this, this are too, too new taste to me. Mm. There's something very Japanese in there. It might not be honey, but uh, it's a sh sugar syrup at least. Mm. Yeah, okay, okay. But how about the mochi on the stick? Do you remember what that's called? Oh, I do not. Yeah, uh, it's also the dango. dango. Oh, dango. You may not believe this, but the sauce is soy sauce and and sugar. Uh, it's sweet the, soy sauce. I like this one very much. Uh, the na the name of it is not just dango; it's mitorashi dango. Mm. Mitorashi dango, very popular Japanese food. Very popular at um, festivals. I understand why. This one is delicious. Really like it. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Yeah, I think it's my favorite. Oh my god. 
gosh. Really? That's so, that's like such a such a Japanese one. Really Japanese taste. Yeah. Great. Wow, some people don't like it. 9.5 out of 10. Is that the last one that I can try? There's one more. There's one more. Yeah. If it gets better, I'll give it 10 to the next one. For our last one, if you know me, you know I used to live in Kyoto. So um, I wanted to share the most popular type of uh, omiyage from Kyoto. So please share. It looks a bit like a kind of uh, origami. Beautiful. Itadakimasu. Mm. This one is very good. I really like the shape that it has. It makes it a bit more easy to eat than the others, maybe. And it tastes like it's cha, cha and uh, red beans. Oh, uh, yeah, matcha. That's a whole tour group. Oh. Hi! <laughs> so we are filming um, we are filming by the Sumido River. It's uh, very easy to eat and I think I would uh, I could eat this one like for breakfast. Is that the time mm -hmm. where you used to, to eat this? Usually Japanese people don't eat sweets for breakfast, okay. so you would eat this with some tea. Okay. Mm. Yatsuhashi is a type of mochi that is a flat mochi. Um, it can be different flavors, matcha, oftentimes cinnamon. Inside is the red bean paste, so it's um, folded like a triangle. I think I will give a 10 to this one. Yes. 10 for Kyoto Yatsuhashi! I'm so happy! Thank you so much for watching today and thank you, Pierre, for trying all the mochi. Yeah, I think it's really pleasure. fun. <laughs> if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. You can also check out my social media. I have TikTok and Instagram which are also on the world stage so please follow me there uh, you can follow me at uh, Pierre uh, P Pierre Boitier sur, uh, on Instagram oh I'll, I'll share that below <laughs> might be in the description he's an excellent painter so definitely check that out thank you very yeah. much Arigatou gozaimashita. Matane. Matane.